Hey, and welcome back to another episode of e-commerce and brand growth, the complete guide. I'm your host, Michael Campanaro, a owner of Porters.io, a marketing consultant, uh, expert in Shopify, and knowledgeable resource for anybody who's looking to scale their business online for consumer product goods or B2B brands. Today, I'm jumping in here to focus on um, the topic of waste for companies and how new companies waste a lot of time and resources without fully understanding everything that they need to know to make the next move to growing as a business online. I have uh, had a lot of conversations with clients about what metrics to follow, um, what uh, what things they should take as the first steps in growth. And I oftentimes see that there is just a lot of waste happening in time because uh, the big picture is being missed. In most cases, the pre-planning before the execution does not happen and does not happen at a large enough scale in order to have a flawless execution and a real understanding of what needs to be tracked in terms of metrics and other information over the course of the uh, year or few years ahead. A lot of the time I find that newer brands are focused on what's right in front of them at any given moment and a lot of the times don't have the time to step back and really think about what they are uh, trying to achieve. I uh, I made kind of uh, mention of this before, but uh, not. I think the number one issue is that people need to stop wasting time on granular metrics and focus more on the big picture planning. So what I mean by that is when. Um, when you're choosing what to kind of dive into and look for things to improve, maybe you're looking at numbers too early in the process. So for example, I had someone question some metrics inside of their email platform um, recently and call out the fact that their unsubscribe rates were pretty high. But there really wasn't a big uh, push for email and in terms of email campaigns, email sends, there was really only some basic um, automation set up within their account. So it may be too early actually to be looking at things like unsubscribes and those things could have happened because the list size is so small or because of the nature of who subscribed, maybe there was a giveaway in play. And some of those things can be taken into account, but that really doesn't change Um, the fact that what needs to happen is they need to take a step back and plan for what they need to do for email. And if email is not a focus of the overall brand growth, then maybe email isn't that important to look at yet. And maybe the time to look at email is once you've already scaled that account um, to a point where uh, you feel is showing strong growth growth in terms of signups or that you're doing a lot on email. But if you're not necessarily doing that much there already, then why spend the time diving into things and fixing them? Because those tiny changes may not actually move the needle uh, in the bigger picture of things. And if your goal is to, let's say, raise revenue on the site, um, not email subscribes, and you're really not focused on that, then, then why look at it? Um, And I I see this a lot in different areas of businesses. Sometimes people will look at certain social channels and question whether or not they're performing that well there or if like their Instagram following is high enough. Um, And I would say to question whether or not your focus is actually there. And if it is, maybe the what actually needs to happen is you need to take a step back and make a plan around that. For example, if you're not doing too well in terms of engagement or growth on Instagram, maybe you need to plan a growth strategy around that. And that could involve just some easy things like questioning, how are we going to raise our followers or what tactics can we use to raise our followers on our account? Um, Or how could we create more engagement? Pick one thing and, and, 
and then focus on it. But don't get waste don't waste too much time on those like granular metrics that are going to matter more in the later months during um, a time when you have more historical data and more things to base that off of. Um, I would say, you know, changing a percent like in a conversion rate when you have a high amount of revenue is going to be a huge difference. But if you're not really pulling in much revenue just because you just got out the gate, maybe focusing on conversion rate um, to a high level isn't really the best use of your time. I think those things can come and you can kind of see trends around them based on different things like promotions or how your website's performing. So my biggest advice to uh, people right now when you're starting an e-com brand or you're starting to look at how your your sales are growing or how traction is going um, is to take a step back and ask yourself, do you, do you actually have a plan? Do you actually have it written out? Like, do you know what your goals are uh, quarterly for next year? Do you know what your goals are for the year? And, um, and when you question things like if, if uh, you want to increase site traffic, for example, like ask yourself why has site traffic shown you that you, um, you are actually driving more sales because of site traffic? Or is it just that you, you think it shows that your brand is growing um, just because you have more traffic to your site? Uh, so yeah, take my biggest advice is take a step back, stop focusing so much on granular details and build a, f- a strong foundation. This, this goes for companies that have also been around for a while. Even if your company's been in business for a few years or you have established audiences, a lot of the times you may need to build a new foundation. So thinking about building an ex- like sort of like a, like you were renovating your house and you needed to build an extension onto your house, you're, you might need to rebuild a foundation off of a, an existing uh, structure. And that's kind of what needs to happen a lot of the times, even for brands that have been in existence. But if you're starting off and you're newer or you're just kind of looking to scale, I'd say to first, just make sure you have things mapped out. Um, I think people who don't have things mapped out tend to spend too much time on the smaller granular details when uh, in actuality they need to probably focus on the bigger picture of things first um, and then start looking at those metrics. And also just know what metrics you're tracking on and then keep a log of how those things change over time too. Uh, so yeah, I just, I mean, in, in a sense, I think that a lot of brands I work with could really use this advice. Um, I think there's obviously a lot more to just saying planning. Um, and I think that that's something I could jump in further in another episode, but for right now, I just like to leave today's topic at a broad level to just tell you to start to stop getting too granular if you find yourself um, or if you if you find yourself at a point where you're getting too granular first question whether or not you know why you're getting that granular you know why you're looking into those details Um, and if you don't you likely don't have a plan or a strategy to how you're tracking that so um, I would I'd love to talk more about this if you if you send want to connect send me some questions you can always reach out to me our my company's website is porters.io uh you can also reach me on linkedin and connect i'm happy to help anytime again my name is michael campanaro i am the owner of porters a marketing consultant company that works with small to large companies focused on consumer product goods with a uh, goal of scaling Shopify sites for e-commerce brands, but we also work with B2B brands as well. Uh, And this, again, is e-commerce and brand growth, the complete guide. Please make sure you subscribe and stay tuned.